हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द बेसिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ एयर ब्रेक सिस्टम एंड इट्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द वेरियस कंपोनेंट ऑफ एयर ब्रेक सिस्टम द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज एयर ड्रायर सो द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एयर इट विल बी सक इन टू द कंप्रेसर थ्रू द एयर ड्रायर so the function of the air dryer it is used to remove the moisture content from the air coming from the atmosphere to prevent the lines and uh, air storage from uh, water condensation that can cause brack failure such as uh, during winter due to the freezing of that condensed water so the uh, basic function of the air dryer is to remove the moisture content from the air the second component is air compressor and air filter the function of the compressor as we know that it will compress the air because we know that uh, uh, air is a gas and gas is in compressible in nature so the compressor it will suck the air from the atmosphere through the air filter and then compress the air and uh, this compressed air is uh, sent to the reservoir this compressor is uh, driven by the engine through belt drive the next component is unloader valve here the compressor sent a compressed air to the reservoir through the unloader valve which uh, gets lifted at a predetermined uh, reservoir pressure and relieves the compressor from the load so the basic function of the unloader valve whenever the pressure it will be increases in a reservoir at that time this uh, compressor it will be relieve from load this is the basic function of the unloader valve this unloader valve it will relieve the compressor from the load whenever the pressure inside the reservoir it will be increases more than set pressure so the basic function of the unloader valve is it will relieve the compressor from the load when the pressure inside the reservoir it will be more than predetermined reservoir pressure the air pressure inside the system must be maintained at a uh, recommended value an excessive air pressure will result in additional braking while the lower air pressure would lead to inadequate braking effort the unloader valve in the air braking system helps to regulate the line pressure when the specified air pressure has been attained the unloader valve relieves the compressor similarly when the air pressure decreases below the required limit it reestablish the compression it consists mainly of a governor valve and uh, unloader plunger and non return valve so the basic function of the unloader valve is it will reestablish the pressure whenever the pressure inside the reservoir it will be decreases and it will relieve the compressor from the load whenever the pressure is more than predetermined reservoir pressure the next one is a uh, air storage or reservoir it is the tank that is used to store the compressed air sent by the compressor the storage always has enough amount of compressed air so that the brakes can be applied several times and also prevent the brake failure when the air compressor shows malfunctioning or whenever it is in uh, some problem the next one is the brake valve or triple valve the actuation and release of brakes requires a continuous release and building of uh, pressure inside the brake lines and uh, brake cylinder according to the motion of the brake pedal this is done by the triple valve using air braking system the next one is a brake cylinder or brake chamber it is the device that uh, consists of a cylinder and piston over which the compressed air pressure is applied in order to push uh, brake pads which in turn make a uh, friction contact with the disc or drum in order to stop or decelerate the vehicle so we can use a uh, uh, air brake system with a drum brake as well as disc brake so the uh, mechanism is uh, different for in both the cases 
the brake drum is the component through which the brake force due to frictional contact between the brake pads and drum lining is uh, transferred to the wheels in uh, order to stop or deaccelerate the vehicle. Outer surface of the brake drum uh, consisting of a uh, drum lining uh, rotates with the wheel and the inner part uh, consists of brake shoe stays uh, in its uh, state of rest when the brake pedal is not pressed. Usually brake drums are used in air brake system but with suitable arrangement this brake can also be used in air braking system. Now we will discuss the working principle of air brake system. When the driver of a vehicle presses the brake pedal in order to stop or we can say deaccelerate the vehicle, the following procedure take place. When the driver start the engine, the air compressor starts as it is driven by the engine which in turn starts compressing the atmospheric air and through the compressor governor this compressed air with optimum pressure is sent to the air reservoir which always has some amount of air stored for the previous cycle. When the driver presses the brake pedal the outlet valve of the triple valve close and inlet valve opens up which in turn gives passage to the compressed air from the reservoir to pass through the brake lines of the system. This compressed air flowing through the brake lines is then transferred to the brake cylinder which has piston inside it. When the compressed air applies pressure over the piston inside the brake chamber, the piston moves away from its original position which converts this pneumatic energy into mechanical energy. On the wheel end of the brake cylinder, brake drums are placed inside which there is a housing of the mechanical actuator like uh, springs or slacks having brake pads at its outer end. Due to the movement of the piston, because of the pressure applied by the compressed air, the mechanical actuator inside the brake drum expands which in turn pushes the brake pads in the outer direction in order to make friction contact with the rotating drum lines. With this friction contact between the brake pads and uh, rotating drum lines, brakes are applied to the wheels in order to stop or deaccelerate the vehicle. So this is the uh, working principle of air brake system. As we have already discussed, brake system is the need of an automobile. But as we all know that when it comes to the application, every vehicle is not the same as. Some vehicles are used for light utility purpose like car and bikes and some are used for heavy purpose like as uh, buses and trucks. So there is a need of different braking system due to the following reason. The first reason as the load over the light vehicles and heavy vehicles varies the uh, brake force required to stop the heavy vehicle is far more than that of light vehicles. So the heavy vehicles should be equipped with a braking system that can provide the enough brake force that can stop or deaccelerate the vehicles. The second reason when we talk about lightweight vehicle, hydraulic brakes provide more than enough brake force to stop or deaccelerate the vehicle due to its short dimension. But when it comes to the heavy vehicles which are large in size, the effectiveness of hydraulic braking system is a great concern. As the fluid is used to press the piston in hydraulic braking system, the safety is the great concern as if there is any leakage in the wheel cylinder and master cylinder then the efficiency of the hydraulic braking system is reduced or even lost completely. The component of hydraulic braking system like as master cylinder and brake lines due to that size of the hydraulic brake system increases with the increase in the size of the vehicle which in turn makes it very complex to install which is not a problem with the air brake system. 
due to the safety measures like brake failure and efficiency government has made it is preferable to use air brake system in buses and trucks or we can say in heavy loaded vehicle there are various applications of air brake system due to its property of uh, preventing brake failure air brake systems are widely used in various vehicles but in heavy vehicles like trucks and buses we are using it it is also used in railways all the trucks and uh, buses on the road today use air brake system few from them are like as volvo 9400 px buses bharat bench so these are the application of air brake system so i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends thank you friends jai hind jai bharat